Number 1. Brooke Shields' Colorful Yet Approachable Southampton Home Brooke Shields' Southampton home was bought for a little over $4 million in 2013. And it is said that the house is brought to life with her mother's vintage furniture and other items that she found at secondhand stores. And since Brooke is one with decor, she made her home even more colorful. Her living room and family room are adorned with nature photographs, a gray chevron armchair, a glass coffee table, and an all-white kitchen with stainless steel appliances, simple yet magical. Number 2. Alec Baldwin's East Hampton Rustic Chic Farmhouse Alec Baldwin is also another famous face who owns a house in the Hamptons. Baldwin has a history with real estate and owns an East Hampton farmhouse dating back to the 1700s with eye-catching details, such as the living room's beige and wooden tones with a painting of Hilaria sitting atop the living room's limestone fireplace and different themes for each room. Number 3. Next on the list, we have Robert Downey Jr., whose Hamptons home is built around a historic faux windmill cottage in East Hampton that he reportedly bought in 2017 for $1.5 million less than the listing price at $10.5 million. Number 4. Jerry Seinfeld's East Hampton Home Fourth on the list, we have Jerry Seinfeld who owns a home in East Hampton that he bought for $32 million after Billy Joel listed it in 2000. The home sits on 12 acres of land and has two pools, a barn, a visitor's home, a baseball playground, and since Jerry is a car collector, he has a 22-car garage where he keeps his 22 cars. Number 5. Jill Martin's whimsical Southampton mansion where she films her show. Imagine being able to film your shows in your own home. That's the case for Jill Martin in her 5,400-square-foot Southampton home that she bought for $3.7 million in 2016. Martin shoots her shop today with Jill Martin's in her house, so whatever she sells, she does that in the comfort of her law, kitchen, or backyard, whatever suits the theme. Number 6. Katie Couric's 7-bedroom East Hampton pad that was designed by her sister. Moving on, we have Katie Couric, who owns a $6.3 million 7-bedroom mansion in East Hampton with close proximity to the sea. Katie's mansion was decorated by her sister, Clara Corrick, when she first bought it, and it has an amazing garden and pool space, aside from its convenient location near the beach. Number 7. Tory Birch's Refined Brick Line Southampton Estate Next up, we have Tory Birch, who has a piece of history with her Southampton Estate, known as Westerly, which dates back almost a hundred years. Westerly has one of the biggest square footage in the village, that is 15,000 square feet. Number 8. Billy Joel's Sagapanak Mansion Billy Joel had for years owned a beautiful and classy estate in Sagapanak, but it was reported in 2014 that Joel put the 5,500-square-foot place on the market and it sold for a little under $20 million. The home has a private beach area with, of course, an amazing view, two kitchens, two garages, and a music production room. Number 9. Betsy Johnson's Refined Southampton Home Betsy Johnson was also the owner of a four-bedroom mansion in East Hampton. It was, however, reported that in 2015, Johnson listed her 2,900-square-foot home for sale for $2 million. Number 10. Richard Gere's centuries-old Hampton estate that he sold to Matt Lauer. Finally, we have Richard Gere, who in 2016 sold his circa 1900s Hampton estate for a whopping $33 million According to reports, the home, which is called Strongheart Manor, measures 12,000 square feet and sits on over six acres of land.